Hey everyone, we're taking a look at some Steam and home streaming today on the Microsoft Surface 3. Um, went ahead and, and, and right now I have it set up uh, where it's, uh, I'm using Steam in home streaming over uh, wireless AC right now. So um, I have an AC access point in my house and um, I'm using the Surface with about four bars. So it's not even at full signal. I'm actually on another floor. Um, the access point is upstairs and I'm down. So, um, between floors, and, and I can honestly say the performance um, that I've seen thus far is very, very good um, on wireless AC. Um, so if you want to turn your attention over to the, the bottom left-hand corner, uh, there is the, um, more or less the stats, Steam and home streaming stats. Uh, right now it's, uh, the, it's being captured at 1080p, 60 frames per second, uh, pretty much constantly. I have the game running on my, uh, on my gaming PC uh, at 1080p. Uh, I think very high settings, and um, it pretty much runs 60 frames per second fluently um, there. And obviously, when it's being encoded and decoded, um, it's it's pretty much the same. And I have enough um, I have enough bandwidth, and um, the Surface 3 is able to keep up with the uh, decoding, and everything is is running really well. So um, I am using the NB uh, FBC decoder or NVEC um, encoder. I'm sorry, um, on my GTX 780. So it's encoding, a, it's a basically a hardware-based encoder. And um, I'm actually only using the, D, the DBX, the DXDA uh, decoder um, on the Surface 3. Uh, I believe the Z8700 CPU, Atom CPU does support Intel's QuickSync. However, I'm not even using it. And it's still doing a great job uh, with decoding the, uh, the 1080 stream. So uh, ping time is relatively good. It is kind of varies. You, you've probably been... If you've been looking, it's it's around the two to four to five mark, um, with, you know, going up to six here every now and then milliseconds. It's very good. It's um, it's obviously it's it's when you're playing, uh, for instance, Shadow of Mordor. Um, it's not as smooth as it would be if you're playing natively, obviously, but it is pretty close. It is not far off at all. And considering we're on a wireless network, it's been very very impressive. Um, and the, uh, the, so the ping time is relatively low, um, and the packet loss is actually very low as well. Uh, the frame loss and packet loss, um, not even jumping up to the uh, over 1%, so it, it's very low uh, in that end. And overall, I can, I can also say this, the, stream, the Steam in-home streaming experience on the Surface 3 has been a, uh, a really good experience overall. Pretty much any game that I've played, um, it's not bad at all. I mean, it, it's very playable. You can tell here and there there are some hiccups. There are a little bit of uh, some issues. Like if it's if there's some really some really fast movement, there may be a bit of latency or delay. But overall, it's 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 really good. So um, just wanted to do a video, kind of showing performance um, and showing how well it, it, it does during streaming. And um, I can honestly say it's it's almost on par with um, with uh, my Zotac Pico PI320 that is wired. Uh, or has a wired connection going to it. It's it's almost as good as that. Maybe not quite as good on the uh, on the latency. Or I'm sorry, on the ping time, but the packet loss and frame loss is is actually almost better. So very impressive overall. Just want to do a quick video on the uh, on this. So anybody has any questions, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. And thanks for checking it out.